Okay, I'm just heading for uh, just a, a half hour session, maybe 35 minutes top before it's dark. Uh, I was going to rest, but you know what it's like, it's can't resist the chance of getting that hit. So, uh, so addictive this bass fishing. But um, yeah, so it's very small and uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so I was saying I was going to rest today or this evening been up early every day and fed most of the time around midnight time I've sorted everything out but then the thought that there could be bass here I just couldn't so I've got to give it a go I'm just going to start off close in I've got this bomb on it's a 30 gram but if I had 15 or I've had a 20 gram one definitely put that on I think it'd be ideal tonight on that rock there. I just got it the other side of that rock. I thought looking at a good spot. Just hope this one stays on. I just want to catch something tonight. Oh the way. Okay it's only a little schooly but to be honest I was just happy to catch something tonight. I wanted to come out and have a little fish and uh, yeah, hooked a fish, so uh, pleased with that. Maybe there's another one around. I don't get much chance to uh, use the 15 gram tweak. Just uh, last few days I've had a few goes and caught some fish on it, so I'm gonna have another go. So I can work in this just below the surface. And in these conditions, you can just splash it up sometimes as well. Okay, the only tr problem with these light lures for me around here is just the wind blowing them onto the, the line on the rocks. It's not too bad, it's not, it's not a strong wind. There is a breeze. That's why I generally use 30 gram lures out here with a swell and the uh, wind uh, as a minimum, generally. It'd be like 50. Come oh, on, oh, there's got some rocks here. I've got a, it's only a little schoolie, I think. I'll just bring him around these rocks. See where he, there he is. So it's nice when you get a chance to fish the lighter lures. I really enjoy them. Because unfortunately, it's always big swell up here. And the swell's set to come back. Is flaring out those gills. Okay, it's a little schoolie there. <laughs> Took the tweak bait. So it's nice, it's well worth coming up here just to get those hits. As I was saying, it's well worth the trip getting out and I was hammered today to all the lack of sleep, but glad I just came out for a last session. Oh, that wind, I don't want to lose this lure. I can't see a lot. Might have to put on a heavier lure because the wind just comes up as it's getting dark. It's just blowing it right across these rocks. So I just stick this 30 gram one on. Skip the last few casts. Okay, it's better. So I've got a lot more control now. Look at that light lure, it's just blowing the line everywhere. Oh, it's right in a good spot though. Come on, Mr. Bass. Mrs. Bass. So you can get a better angle here. That's a better angle. Well, what about one more? Definitely, definitely last start. Okay, last cast that is. I've got to get up now. Now, if that doesn't get hit, I'm going. Oh, got it. Got one. It's just 
right on the last cast. I really think that was the last cast. Oh, they're getting smaller. Look at that. Okay. Okay, that lure is nearly as long as that fish. That really was the last cast, seriously, because I've got to go. So it's a nice end to, uh, to a nice fun session. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Well worth coming, but I've got to get up quick. Okay, weather's changed now. So it's back to the normal wind. It's going to be hard controlling the lure with the wind. Oh, first bass of the morning. Um, it's not the ideal conditions. 30 knot winds, I reckon. But um, yeah, got this one just close to the edge. So, so yeah, it's nice to catch something, and uh, hopefully, there's some few more about. So I want to get into that next gully. So with this one, the good thing about these lures is bring them right up to the surface when you need. So I'm just going to work it below now. Sometimes it's uh, just to see where it is. Again. Yeah, I just sent a few lures close to the ledge along an edge where they seem to be hanging out and uh, yeah, bam, this one hit the normal tweak. So uh, yeah, so it's turned out to be a nice fun morning. Okay, just up from a nice session there, nice morning session. I actually didn't expect much today because it's so windy. I was like, must have been 25 or at least 30 knots um, some of the spots out there like you right into it so it's difficult to control the lure but yeah managed to get a couple of nice ones um, on the uh, tweak bait the original uh, medium sink so yeah i'm really happy with that morning i'm gonna go home get some rest now really tired First bass on the on the mackerel, green mackerel. It's a bit late in the morning, but the tides are not good there at the moment. But yeah, just put on this little green mackerel, uh, 50 gram green mackerel, and got this little um, schoolie there. So yes, yeah, nice start for it. So despite having this uh, funny rod, managed to get a fish. 
Yeah, it's such a soft tip, you're just not used to it. And you find you can't pull the lure the same. That's nice. Beautiful colour water. Really nice. So I love this kind of onshore. Really good bass conditions. Okay, it's a really difficult spot. It's perfect. Really good bass around that ledge, I'm sure of it. Nice bass, really nice bass. Good for neck. There he is, good for neck, that was a good take. Get down. And bring him around this way. Okay, that was one of the most exciting takes I've had in a long while with a bass. I watched him come over the ledge, follow the lure, you know, in fairly uh, clear water, just a bit of colour to it, just follow it and then boom, didn't see a move when he hit it. So yeah, again on that mackerel, so really exciting stuff. I'm glad I'd come out here today. Got a dodgy rod, because I broke a ring on another one, but um, anyway, it's doing the job today. <laughs> That's a nice bass. That's a nice bass. The top water hips are so exciting. Uh, that was also really exciting because although the lure was subsurface, I just watched him chase it down. Another one. Yes, uh, green mackerel again for this little schoolie. Okay, just got a little schoolie over on that ledge there. Okay, little little schoolie there. It's not a great time of the time of the day or tide. The tide should be getting better in the next few days now. 